Hello, bright learners. <laughs> Hi, long time no see. Okay, bright learners, today we are going to start a new book. Exciting. We're going to start reading How to Eat Fried Worms. This book is a little bit old. I read this book when I was your age. But like so many books, they get better as the years go by. And this one has a great story. Okay, are you ready? Let's start. First, you know what we have to do. We have to get rid of our banner. Ready? Hmm. Okay, how to eat fried worms, chapter one. The bet. Hey, Tom, where were you last night? Yeah, you missed it. Alan and Billy came up the front walk. Tom was sitting on his porch steps, bouncing a tennis ball. Old man Tater caught Joe as we were climbing through the fence, so we all had to go back, and he made us pile the peaches on his kitchen table, and then he called our mothers. Joe's mother hasn't let him out yet. Where were you? Tom stopped bouncing his tennis ball. He was a tall, skinny boy who took his troubles very seriously. My mother kept me in. What for? I wouldn't eat my dinner. Alan sat down on the step below Tom and began to chew his thumbnail. What was it? Salmon casserole. Billy flopped down on the grass, chunky, snub-nosed, freckled. Salmon casserole's not so bad. Wouldn't she just let you eat two bites, said Alan. Sometimes my mother says, well, all right, if I'll just eat two bites. I wouldn't even eat one. That's stupid, said Billy. One bite can't hurt you. I'd eat one bite of anything before I'd let them send me up to my room right after supper. Tom shrugged. How about mud? Alan asked Billy. You wouldn't need a bite of mud. Alan argued a lot. Small, knobby-kneed, nervous, gnawing at his thumbnail, his face smudged, his red hair mussed, shirt hell, tail hanging out, shoelaces untied. Sure I would, Billy said. Mud? What's mud? Just dirt with a little water in it. My father says everyone eats a pound of dirty ear anyway. How about poison? That's different. Billy rolled over on his back. Is your mother going to make you eat the leftovers today at lunch? He asked Tom. She never has before. How about worms? Alan asked Billy. Tom's sister's cat squirmed out from under the porch and rubbed against Billy's knee. Sure, said Billy. Why not? Worms are just dirt. Yeah, but they bleed. So you have to cook them. Cows bleed. I bet a hundred dollars you wouldn't really eat a worm. You talk big now, but you wouldn't if you were sitting at the dinner table with a worm on your plate. I bet I would. I'd eat 15 worms if somebody bet me $100. You really want to bet? I'll bet you $50 you can't eat 15 worms. I really will. Where are you going to get $50? In my savings account. I've got $130.79 in my savings account. I know because last week I put in the $5 my grandma gave me for my birthday. Your mother wouldn't let you take it out. She would if I lost the bet. She'd have to. Anyway, I tell her I was going to sell my can't sell my stamp collection otherwise. And I bought that with all my own money that I earned mowing lawns so I can do whatever I want with it. I'll bet you $50 that you can't eat 15 worms. Come on, you're chicken. You know you can't do it. I wouldn't do it, said Tom. If salmon casserole makes me sick, think what 15 worms would do. Joe came scuffling up the walk and flopped down beside Billy. He was a small boy with dark hair and a long nose and big brown eyes. What's going on? Come on, said Alan to Billy. Tom can be your second and Joe will be mine just like in a duel. You think it's so easy? Here's your chance to make 50 bucks. Billy dangled a leaf in front of the cat. But the cat just rubbed against his knee, purring. Thinking. 
not those big green ones that get on the tomatoes. I won't eat those, and I won't eat them all at once. It might make me sick. One worm a day for 15 days. Annie can eat them any way he wants, said Tom. Boiled, stewed, fried, fricasseed. Yeah, but we provide the worms, said Joe, and there have to be witnesses present when he eats them. Either me or Alan or somebody we can trust, not just you and Billy. Okay, Alan said to Billy. Billy scratched behind the cat's ears. Fifty dollars. That was a lot of money. How bad could a worm taste? He didn't eaten fried liver, salmon loaf, mushrooms, tongue, pig's feet. Other kids' parents were always nagging them to eat. His had begun to worry about how much he ate. Not that he was fat, he just hadn't worked all of, off, all of his winter blubber yet. He slid his hand into his shirt and furtively squeezed the side of his stomach. Those were just dirt. They weren't fattening. If he won 50 bucks, he could buy that mini bike George Cunningham's brother had promised to sell him in September before he went away to college. Heck, he could gag anything down for 50 bucks, couldn't he? He looked up. I can use ketchup or mustard or anything like that, right? As much as I want? Alan nodded. Okay? Billy stood up. Okay. <laughs> All right, Bright Learners, next time, Chapter 2, which is called Digging. What do you think they're digging for? Pfft, easy, right? They're digging for worms. <laughs> okay, I'll see you soon. Bye, Bright Learners! <laughs>